So over the past three weeks, I've done all sorts of work here in this area. Primarily, I've gotten rid of some extra roots and stumps that are all in the outskirts of this area that I've cleared. And I've also gone through each section and removed all the rocks that are pretty much larger than, a, than my fist. So pretty much for right now, my smaller rock piles in the center is a large piece of the ledge here and right next to that pile. I'll show you guys that in a second. But on the outskirts here, I removed everything. That way I can start piling these rocks that I have here on the backside because right here is gonna be my detached garage. So this is the area that's gonna be kind of the, the last um, area that I'll be working on. So basically I use the three foot bucket and either I fill it up by hand or I'll use the thumb and pick up the larger stones and put them aside. But a lot of the work has to be done by hand because I don't have a rock separator or a rock grizzly to help me out. I'm almost done with picking out all the rocks. I have one extra section here that I'll show you now. We'll just take a walk down here so you can see firsthand what it looks like. So this area here, I've done some rough grading. I will come back in a few weeks and actually use this I-beam Basically, I'm gonna use the grading bucket, which is a three foot bucket, use that along with this beam with a thumb and kind of drag it along the ground and do my finished grading once I'm done. I also need to cut up those trunks into logs, that way they can dry out and I need to process some firewood pretty soon. I have enough for next year, I just uh, I wanna get that out of the way. But first, I wanna get this area kind of finished graded before I do that, before I start cutting stuff up and making a mess out here. So this right here, I think, is called slate ledge. And pretty much it's like the same kind of material you see here. Right now it looks all tan and brown because it's dirty from all the dirt that's on it. But once it uh, ages a little bit and the rain and snow wash it off, it's going to become like a bluish gray color, greenish color. So this whole area that I'm standing on, I kind of rough graded and removed some of the height and pushed it over in other areas to kind of even things out and to bring everything within one even pitch to the backside here into the woods. So as I walk around, I'll show you guys some more of the work I did. All these rocks over the past two, three weeks, I've been piling up. This wasn't here before, if you, if you saw in the last video, that wasn't there. And pretty much this area here, I've kind of rough graded a little bit. This area was a, a lot lower, so what I did was take some of that fill and bring it over into this area to bring up the height on it still keeping pitch from basically where the shed is. I want to keep pitch constantly all the way to the, to the backside here. And today we're going to be working on this area. I'm going to be picking all the rocks by hand and picking out the larger boulders with the machine. And as you can see here, there's like a big pool of water from these bigger holes that I dug to get some rocks out. So I'll have to contend with that for right now, but I'm just going to get these bigger stones out of the way with the, with the Kubota. And then uh, over here is a whole bunch of hand picking that I have to do. I'm going to get this machine warmed up now and uh, I'll get to work.
I'm doing is I'm gonna be right in the center of my piles. That way, I'll take the stones and put them aside without doing too much movement with the machine. And uh, that way, it's, it's more efficient time-wise and it just gets things done quicker. So, I'm gonna use the ripper tooth and the thumb. I'm gonna pick up these bigger stones and just put them right in this big pile for right now. And that's good enough for, for me. Now the ripper tooth helps pick up the stones because it doesn't pick up a lot of dirt with it. So it, it really, uh, it's a really good tool or attachment to use when you're just picking up stones. This one's a big one, so it's gonna, I really gotta get a good bite on it. Scoop it up. So the key is when doing this, you don't want to damage the stone too much. You just want to pick it up gracefully and then just place it down without scarring the stone because I plan on using these stones for all sorts of different things on the, uh, on the property. I plan on doing some walls, some rock settings, maybe even a stone sculpture. So I don't want to beat these things up. So some of these like really shallow flat stones that are nice and wide, I want to make a floating base for them and put them in the pond for the turtles and the frogs to hang out on. That way they can sunbathe. This is a good looking stone right here. Go right in the center. We're going to try to pick it up center of mass. So it cuts out after five seconds. So right now it's about like 97 degrees out there and it's humid as hell and I'm sweating my balls off, but thank God this cab has air conditioning. I have it on about halfway up and I'm comfortable in here. And this allows me to work and not get super exhausted or super uh, dehydrated or anything so having the AC in the cab really does help so I can take my time stay out here as long as I want and uh, I'm not gonna hurt myself
right here is a nice big like seven foot stone. I might make like a mailbox post out of that or something. I don't know yet. That's gonna be a really cool stone to do something with. Here we got some water. That's from the rain. It, it rained for like two, three days straight. And it was just absolute downpours for those two days. So this one I want to be careful with. I don't want to jack this one up. I'm just gonna pick it up, bring it close to the machine. That way it doesn't tip the machine. Back up. So this one, let's see. I mean, this machine is still on like a third of a, th actually it's less than a third. It's like a quarter throttle, and it's picking up this big mass of like thousand pound stone. So this, I'm actually going to place it back here. Bring the blade up. stone in front of that so it doesn't fall over onto onto someone or myself so I'll put something in front of that just to make sure that's safe
right, so I got the camera back in the shed, and I'm just gonna go with the camera in the cab right now. And it's time to unload this bucket full. This weather today is 97 degrees, and now it's starting to rain pretty heavy. And I'll keep on working until this area gets really flooded, so I'll see how much I can do before I call it quits. But I'm gonna go ahead now and just dump this bucket full. I don't mind the rain because it actually washes the stone off and it allows me to see the stone better. I'm already soaked from sweating from head to toe because it's 97 degrees out. What's a little rain gonna do? It's just gonna cool me off, that's all. So as you can see here, I'll show you really quick. This area is already been picked through. I'm pretty happy with this area to the left. Now it's a matter of picking through this area on the right hand side here, which is um, about another hour, hour and a half worth of work. So I'm gonna get started doing that. All right, so I just did a whole bucket full and I am completely soaked. So I'm definitely cooling off, that's for sure. Between the AC in the cab and the rain outside, I feel like I'm totally refreshed now, for sure. And maybe I can go on for another two, three hours instead of uh, one hour. We'll see. So we're just gonna go drop this off. It's getting pretty uh, wet out here. I try to keep my tracks to a minimum and just go back and forth without making too much of a mess. like from head to toe, my pants, everything. You can see my boots, they're just full of mud. But one good thing is that, instead of my hands being all muddy now, I can rinse them off in that puddle and uh, rinse my gloves off and everything comes out clean. So that's one good thing about the rain. So I'm just gonna fill up another bucket here. I kind of toss these stones up from that lower area that way, um, since that's filling up quick, I didn't want to have to like dive in there uh, when it's saturated with water and it, and it starts rising. And then it's gonna make it impossible for me to retrieve all those stones to deep down in there. So I piled some up right here. And I'm just gonna go put those in the bucket now. I'll keep you guys running there so you can see what, what it's like up there in the pouring rain. I usually have the radio on, but I can't have the radio on because of obvious reasons. I'll get flagged for copyright violation or whatever. But usually when I'm in the cab here and I'm not making a video, I usually have the radio on and, and it's uh, it passes time. It makes things go a lot faster, that's for sure. But, all right, let me get out there and uh, collect this bucket full.
properly soaked. So that's okay. I think I'll have like two more bucketfuls and I'll be done. So this area in front of me is pretty all set. And now it's just a matter of taking care of this area to the right here. So uh, depending on how bad that is, I'm just gonna take the bucket and push that stuff around and see if I can lift more rocks up from the uh, from below. And then I'll, it's probably gonna be either one bucket or two bucket for sure. And then I'll be done. And then I'll go ahead and just do a rough grading even though this place is a complete muddy mess. to it and weld them on or either bolt them on depending on how I plan on doing it to the actual I-beam to actually make an attachment out of it. So I'll see how that goes. First I want to try it out by just holding it with a thumb and then just kind of raking the ground with it. And then if I don't like the way that feels on the machine, I may go ahead and buy some of the Kubota brackets and just uh, attach them on there. That way I can just have it as a separate attachment because I plan on using that not just here but in front of the house I have more work too that I want to do that is going to need some grading work. So leaving some of the stone already in the ground the way it is is, is good because it's going to keep the ground nice and stable and firm and instead of just having like dirt which will turn into mud when it gets wet the stones actually give it some firmness that way, you have some steady ground. I might have to bring some fill in here and lift this area up a little, a little bit just to bring the elevation back in, but I'll see how far I can get by just pushing this stuff around. So I'm just gonna park this thing over here now and collect myself some stone from this area. Let's first move this stuff around. I want to see if we have anything underneath. I don't think there's that much here. So as you see here, I'm just kind of lifting the material up and then I'll spread it. If I think I have a bucket full of stone, I'll just spread it over, over the, a different area just so I have some room to pick through it. Now it's kind of like that, spread it around gently. You don't want to use the bucket too much on a side force. The bucket's only meant for like digging, a digging force and not any side uh, horizontal force. So I've got to be careful on that. You just want to be very gentle when you're doing that kind of work with it. So I'm just going to push this stuff around. Oh, there's a stone right there. Keep that one. Sometimes using 
this big bucket to pick up stones is not as good as you think. You just gotta kind of scoop them instead of kind of pick them like a grapple what you would with the uh, the ripper tooth. Oh, check out that uh, check out that driveway. It's like steaming because of the sun's back out now and. Serious steam coming off that driveway. So many stones like it's just riddled with stones like you just dig somewhere and you'll find stones anywhere like literally in the woods here there's some really big good-looking stones that eventually when I make some trails I'll retrieve those and uh, put them somewhere a little more proper but for right now I gotta take care of this and get this area situated that way I have an area to process my firewood better and I can get the garage started. You get, you get the foundation going, you know, all that stuff. So I'm just gonna spread this around. I think, I don't think there's that much stone here left over, so. All right, so I'm just gonna fill up one bucket full here. I think I'm gonna call it, call it done for stones. enjoy this video and if you like the video don't forget to hit that like button and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video